guys welcome back to my channel today I have a Sephora haul if you guys didn't know it is the Sephora VIB sale and I went a little crazy I'm not gonna lie I went a little crazy I tend to buy a lot of like high-end makeup or like perfumes or skincare when it's that time because Sephora only gives us a sale two times a year so I feel like those are times a year I have to go super ham. So I have the dates here and I just noticed today is the last day for Beauty Insiders to get 10% off. So I will have the code down below. That's why I wanted to get this video out today just in case you guys didn't know that it was a sale. But VIBs and VIB Rouge, the sale is extended until tomorrow. And I will have the codes if you want to purchase online. But I know I was kind of late with it, but it was kind of hectic with IMAX. I had a Sigma dinner. If you guys watch my vlog, you guys know I was so, so busy. And I really wanted to get this video out yesterday, but I couldn't. I also purchased a couple of things outside of Sephora because usually around this time, there's sales like everywhere. Like Bobbi Brown right now, I think it's still on, but it's 20% off. And like there was a Bloomingdale sale and Nordstrom was like price matching or something. So... There's like lots of sales. Sigma has a sale right now, Tarte has a sale right now, so I will try to list everything down below so you guys can take advantage of coupons so that you can buy more makeup because that's how we are, right? Like we use a coupon just so that we can just add one more thing to our cart. I'm just gonna pull things out. The first item is probably the one that I'm most excited for. I picked up the Tom Ford bronzing powder. The VIB sale right now is 15%. I know some people were saying, why isn't it 20? 20% 20 off is in the holiday time, so. Right now it's 15% off, so I figured let me just pick up this Tom Ford bronzing powder. It's been haunting me. And they finally have Tom Ford makeup at Sephora. They don't have the eyeliner that I love, but they do have some face products. This one's in the shade Gold Dust. And look at the packaging. I mean, it's just so Tom Ford. I love it. It actually has its own little pouch. I mean, this bronzer was like... I think like 70 something dollars so it better come in a little pouch this is this little white cream ivory kind of pouch it gives it that luxury feel and then look at the compact it has like a purse an old school purse kind of opening where it twists like up and down i seriously feel like this needs like some music like oh uh, like when it opens up it's just all gold in there huge mirror oh my god i don't even want to swatch it right now but i'm gonna swatch it gold dust was the one that i picked up because the other one seemed a little too warm and the other one i think had a little too much shimmer but this one just seemed like the perfect bronzer i am pretty fair right now so this is the bronzer that i chose because it would go perfect for my skin tone it's not too dark it's not too warm it's not too cool so i haven't actually tried this on but it feels very luxurious, it feels very buttery. I am way too excited for that, I cannot wait to use it. Next up is the Gourlain or Gourlain Invisible Skin Fusion. I did feature this in a vlog, but I figured I would feature this in the haul. I got the shade Beige Natural 03. The lady at Sephora like sold me on this, she said it was the most natural looking skin like foundation that they have at Sephora and she was just saying amazing things about this and a couple of you guys actually really love it too so I can't wait to try this I think I'm gonna just film a first impressions with it because I don't really see a lot of reviews and first impressions on this foundation and this was also pretty pricey Gourlain Gourlain is pretty pricey but I do love their bronzers so I figured why not Next up, I picked up the Anastasia Glow Kits in the Gleam color. I already have that glow, but I needed the Gleam because my life wasn't complete without it. This one is more of like a pinky tone highlight quad. As you can see, the colors look very, very like warm, peachy pink. I just, I needed the other one in my life, so I needed to make it a happy family and have both glow kits, so now I do. Next up, I picked up, okay, I, I do not know how to pronounce this. I totally should have looked it up before starting this video. I know it's the Jen Atkin line. I want to say it's way or, I have no idea. It's O-U-A-I, like it could be, I have, no, it's a hair oil by Jen Atkin. She does the Kardashians hair. I've never really heard anyone pronounce it. Because you know how like Quay sunglasses are really key. So like I don't know if this is the same kind of weird pronunciation. But I actually did cheat a little bit and I used this the other day. And I loved it. it smells amazing. And it's the only oil I feel like that I have that really, really does not make my hair feel greasy. Like I have other ones like 
my Redken and my Alpha Parf and my Alterna oils, like they don't make my hair weigh down because I have really thin hair so I can't have any thick oils in my life. But this one's even more silky and even more like transparent. Like it doesn't weigh your hair down at all. Like you can barely feel it and it smells amazing. It smells like flowers. It just smells so good. So I had to pick that up and I picked that up actually online. Along with this, this is the Jack Black Sleek Finish Texture Cream with Olive and Rosemary. I picked this up for Noe and I. We're trying to find him a product that he'll love. So if you have any recommendations that like your hubby or your boo or whoever, your dad, I don't know, that they love and they like to style their hair and it gives them like a sleek finish, let me know. He hasn't really tried it, this one, so maybe this one will work for him, but I couldn't find it in store. They only had it online and the reviews were like amazing. Everyone was saying how they needed this in their life and they were looking for it for so long. I actually used it for my ponytail today and I used it the other day when I did a tight pony and I love it. So I might just keep this one and I kind of want to find him like a mousse or a wax. But this is just like a texture cream. So it comes out like a lotion and it just gives me that like slick back hair pony that I want but it doesn't make it like crunchy it doesn't give me like those white flakes like it just really lays down my hair my baby hairs and my little edges right there so I really like that and it wasn't really expensive and that one doesn't really have a scent but I like that it has olive and rosemary I feel like I'm a floating head so I'm gonna put my hair right there doesn't really have a scent in my opinion. Next up, this is something that I actually saw. I feel like every time Kathleen buys something, like either I just purchased it or like I purchased it right after. And I'm like, yes, like we are both Sephora junkies and I feel like we both have the same taste because we both picked up this instant dry brush cleaner spray. So this is like a dry shampoo for your brushes. It's a quick drying gentle spray that instantly removes makeup. So I saw her kind of test it. I haven't really tested it, but it's just a spray. It kind of smells like an air freshener for the bathroom. I'm not really, it's like floral, but like that nasty floral, I don't know. But either way, I'm still going to try it. And I saw Kathleen use it and it worked. So I pretty much know that it works already. So basically, just don't use water to clean your brushes with this guy. You just, it's a spot cleaner, but you don't have to like dip it into something. Because you know, like with the Cinema Secrets, with the liquid ones, you have to like dip it into something and it's pretty annoying. So this is by the Sephora Collection brand. And I feel like they really have upped their game. I don't know, but they have just been coming out with like tons of skincare, tons of cool products. Next up, I actually showed this in the vlog too. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Powder Makeup. So this is their powder foundation and I actually just had to change the color. So I picked up the color Sand. I had the color Dawn because that's the color that I was using in my foundation, but that is way too dark for me right now. I used it and I looked so orange. I had like demarcation lines. Like it was just really dark. And actually everyone at Sephora was telling me that this powder runs a lot darker than the foundation. So even if you are using Dawn, you have to go down a shade. But I think I went down like three shades because Dawn is just too dark on me too. So this is the shade Sand. And I love this foundation. So I've already used it because I had it in the other shade. But it's just so full coverage and it doesn't make me look like dry but it gives me that super full coverage look by the way i'm obsessed with the armani powder foundation melina and marie they put me onto that like months and months ago i know like everyone's raving about that right now but armani luminous silk powder foundation is also a life saver for dry skin girls like me I love that one, but I picked up the Estee Lauder in a different color. Next up, I have two perfumes. The first one is the Dolce Dolce & Cabana Rosa Excelsa. So I am a huge fan of the Dolce by Dolce & Cabana perfume. It's the one that's with the green liquid. But look at this little baby one. Isn't it so cute? I totally picked this up because of Nicole Guerrero. I'm not going to lie. She sold me on it. She said it was like close or similar to one of her most favorite perfumes of her entire life that is discontinued so I was like hmm I'm curious to know how it smells it smells very similar to Dolce the regular one the original but it just has a little bit more of a like sweet scent I don't know it just smells so delicate and sweet and sexy and girly like it's not too sexy it's more of like the sweet like edible like I want to eat you up yum 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 like smell like you know when your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your significant other your hubby they smell you and they just want to like eat you up like it's not like the sexy one it's just more like the edible it's just so girly I love it so I'm glad I picked it up but I'm kind of mad I picked up the small one just saying next up I picked up another perfume influenced by youtuber 
This is the Gucci 2 Parfume. Kathleen Light did this to me. I love purchasing perfumes. I just love to smell good. I want my perfume collection to be like an entire vanity. Like, I'm obsessed with perfume. And I just, I kind of drench myself in perfume, so I go through them pretty quick. And once I see that I'm running halfway in a perfume, I kind of like stop using it. And so I buy another one just so that I don't like go through an entire bottle. Does that make sense? I don't like to go through an entire perfume. I want to like save it. It's so weird. But this is the Gucci 2 perfume. It's like this light purple liquid and this one also is just so delicate and so sweet. Like it just smells like Kathleen would smell. Like she, you know how she just is so like delicate. Like every time I see her like I just want to like hug her. She just... It smells like that delicate baby skin, really soft, a really soft scent. Almost like, not baby powder, like baby powder with like a floral, but like a little bit of cologne in there. So I'm glad I picked it up and I'm glad I trusted her. Next up, I picked up a Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser, which is funny because the day after I went to a Beauty, oh no, the day of, I went to a Beauty Blender event and they actually gave me one of these, but... It's okay because I need tons of these things because I love this. This cleans my beauty blender, but it doesn't like disintegrate it. I do use the Zolt, the Zolti soap, but that one kind of can like I feel like be too harsh for my beauty blender. So I like the beauty blender solid. I do now have the liquid, so I'm gonna try that out as well. But I just picked up another one of those because I go through those pretty quick. Next up is another foundation that I actually had to get a new color in because mine was too dark. So this is the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in 3.5. I used this the day of IMATS and you guys were asking what foundation I was wearing. It was this one, Armani Luminous Silk. I love this. I've loved this for a really, really long time. So you guys already know that it's one of my favorite foundations of all time. I just needed a new color. So currently I'm 3.5 and 3.5 is still like a little too dark, like a pinch too dark. But I make it work because the shade 3 and 2 are just like not for me like they're too light so I just wish Armani would just like get it together with the shades and the last thing that I picked up for the Sephora VIB sale was the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Bachi um, or Bassi but I'm pretty sure it's Bachi I think all of their names are Ita in Italian um, Caramelo, Bellissima, that's the only ones I know Patina, but I don't know what patina means. Anyway, this one's Bachi. I was on the hunt for this one for so long because it's like the perfect mauve movie, whatever you want to say, color. Like it's a nice dusty rose lilac-y shade. And on me, it would probably look a lot darker than like if I were tan. It would probably look more like a nudie everyday color. But for me, this is more of like a, a mauve tone. And it's unlike anything I have. I know I have tons of nude little lipsticks, but this one has a lot more of like purple undertones and lilac undertones. Can you guys see that? Do you see it? Do you see it? So that's Bachi. If you are of a darker complexion, that shade would look so pretty on you, like a light, nudie, pinky color. It would look absolutely gorgeous. I love the Stila liquid lipsticks. They don't stain my lips and they stay on really, really well and I really like them. I think in store and online they give you this like totes when you purchase. If you live in New York and you're watching this, you still have time to go to Times Square, Sephora, they're open till 2 a.m. so you can still go get your tote when you purchase something. But this one says there's still some space left on my vanity. Hashtag take me to Sephora. Like how true is that for me? Like I'm always like well I can make like a little space for like new makeup. Like there's always space. You know how there's always space for dessert? There's always space for more makeup. <laughs> Next up isn't from Sephora, it's from Bloomingdale's, but Noe and I were in Roosevelt Field Mall. We went to Bloomingdale's and he purchased this perfume for me and this is also because of Nicole Guerrero, like, can I get an amen? All purchases I feel like are because of a YouTuber. Like, if you're gonna sit there and lie and say that nothing was influenced by a YouTuber and you're watching YouTube, girl stop lying like something or everything is probably influenced by someone so this was definitely influenced by Nicole Guerrero I just I needed it in my life this is the Moschino perfume some people say Moschino but someone corrected me and said it was Moschino so yeah this is the Eau de Toilette and wait for it look at this perfume yes this is the fresh perfume by Moschino and it's shaped in a Windex bottle like it's in a Windex bottle like how freaking cute is that I love this it says it works great at work on a tape to a formal event and much more so just like Nicole I would think that you would just spray the spray bottle but no it does have a top 
And this perfume just smells exactly like the name suggests. It's so fresh, and I just, I couldn't wait to film this haul. Like, I needed to bring this out, but I was like, no, I'm going to stay strong. But I just, I love this. I think it's so cute, but not only is it so cute, it smells amazing. It smells really, really fresh and girly, like, straight out of the shower. It gets even cuter. It even came with a little mini-size travel Windex perfume like how freaking adorable is this like I don't want to use this This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life It's a perfume and it's shaped like a little Windex and it's tiny and I love tiny things So I'm so happy that I finally have this perfume in my life Because I needed it and I don't think it was that pricey. I think he paid like $80 And then I also picked up the Salvatore Ferragamo Signorina perfume I know a lot of perfume but you know what? I feel like when there's a sale or when there's like some type of perks or points, you gotta take advantage. You gotta get perfume. I love perfume. So this is Signorina and I feel like this is like a must have for every like girl or like girl that's into makeup and girly things. It smells so sweet. I've been more into like a sweet perfume lately. I still love my sexy scents but I don't know, spring and summer, I kind of want like sweet scents, you know, not like my too and too sexy. That one I just kind of put off for like winter and fall or like really, really nighttime, like going out for like an event or club. But this is just like the perfect sweet summery spring scent. I love it. And I feel like a lot of people know about this perfume, but they don't talk about it that often. They be trying to hold out on the info, but this is Signorina. I also really like the Signorina Elega Eleganza or El Signorina Elegance, I think it's called. There's one like in a black bottle. I'm like hunting that one down next. I'm probably going to pick that one up after I kind of like at least go halfway through this one. But yeah, this is Signorina and that perfume I picked up online. Next up, I kind of splurged at Neiman Marcus. I picked up two items from Tom Ford. I originally went to pick up a backup of my favorite, 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 favorite eyeliner, my liquid liner. This is the Tom Ford Eye Definer. I love this. It's double-ended. It's like my just holy grail eyeliner. I've tried so many eyeliners from $3 to just like really expensive. I've tried Kat Von D. I've tried Stila. I've tried Lorac. I've tried NYC, Inglot. Like I still love other eyeliners, but this is my go-to for a wing. And my other one I had since October. Like I remember I purchased it for myself for my birthday. And I still have it. And it's kind of already like, okay, give me like... Give me up, you know? The one end that I use, it's already pretty much done. So, but it lasted me so long since October and we're in April. So, I'm just like, you could have all my money, Tom Ford Eye Definer. You could just have it because it's so worth it. I tried so many $20 eyeliners at Sephora and they literally get gray in a month. And I think that's so ridiculous. So, yes, this is a little pricey. I think this was like $55. But it lasts so long and it's so freaking black and it makes liquid liner so easy like I'm telling you you guys have to trust me on that one because it's like the number one eyeliner that I recommend I do recommend the Inglot gel liner but you have to buy a brush separate um, and I really love the NYC $3 eyeliner I like the NYC one on top of any eyeliner even the Tom Ford because it really just gets it super black like super 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 black and this eyeliner dries matte which I also love. Like, you can't go wrong with a matte liner. Who likes a shiny liner? And then this next one was kind of just like a random splurge. But I saw it and I remember I had like a wedding, I think, the next day. And I was like, I need it. Like, I need it for weddings, for my brides. This is a Tom Ford Eye Color Quad in Nude Dip. This was like $70. Freaking absurd. But I was just like in a shopping kind of mood. And I was like, you know what? I'll just pick it up. And I don't know. I kind of felt like... A little frozen after when like the total came up but packaging is super cute Tom Ford makeup is just so pretty and the colors are just so neutral let me take out these little brushes so you can see I feel like the camera is playing them real heavy right now like in person the shades just look so pretty this first one is a beautiful like golden champagne shade and what really gets me is that they're so buttery silky soft you're probably not gonna see this on the camera I feel like expensive high-end makeup isn't that like stark matte color it's colors like this I feel like Charlotte Tilbury and like Tom Ford like they don't use stark stark matte shadows that are super pigmented like they use like buttery soft colors like this I just feel like that just screams elegance like when it's just like a buttery soft look 
with a little bit of like a matte in the crease and you're good to go like it shines so nicely so I'm excited to use that I'll probably use it in a tutorial maybe like a high-end tutorial like using all high-end products I love high-end makeup I love drugstore don't get me wrong but there's just something so special about like buying this I know this is absolutely ridiculous for some of you like this is like what are you doing Rose but this is my job you know not only YouTube I do freelance and so also when you're doing like a wedding you want to just like bust out like a really gorgeous palette because you know you're, you're getting photographed by the photographer doing their makeup and okay I'm making excuses for myself I just really wanted it so that's the Tom Ford um, nude quad I also picked up from Charlotte Tilbury and I didn't take it out of the package because I just wanted to show you how it comes you get this envelope that's like your receipt and it's just like a beautiful envelope like everything about Charlotte Tilbury is just so exquisite like if you guys don't watch her YouTube tutorials you totally should because the way she describes things is funny like she's really funny because she just explains all of her products with such class and so detailed and like exquisite and you look so I don't know like it's just funny. but this is so Charlotte Tilbury like look at this so you get like tons of tissue paper purple tissue paper but I picked up the magic foundation the flawless long-lasting coverage foundation with SPF 15 you get 30 milliliters I got mine in the shade 3 fair it says flawless youthful looking skin every day and I picked this up from the Charlotte Silberry website because you get like tons of samples, free shipping. And this says it's a full coverage, demi matte, long lasting foundation enriched with hyaluronic acid, mushroom extract, and the concentrated power of vitamin C. So I was watching Shannon XO. She did a first impression. She's like the queen of first impressions for foundation. Like I think she owns every foundation that has ever been made. And she didn't really like it. Was it Shannon XO or was it Casey Holmes? It was Casey Holmes, sorry. Well, Casey Holmes also, like, is the queen of foundation reviews and first impressions. And Casey Holmes said that she wasn't really feeling it. But she has rosacea on her cheeks. She has a lot of redness. So it wasn't covering her redness. I don't really get redness on my cheeks. So I'm not worried about coverage. I just love, like, a, a nice, flawless-looking complexion. So I have high hopes for this even though she wasn't really feeling it and she said like it didn't really last that long and she got a little oily she has oily skin I have dry so I'm curious to see how a demi matte is gonna work on me so this is the magic foundation and it's so pretty like the bottle is just so magical and I thought it was a pump is it oh it is a pump I love Charlotte Tilbury I love their packaging I love their products they're very like fine products they're just luxury and they're not too too expensive like Tom Ford this was a little bit of a splurge too but it wasn't too too expensive so I'm excited to try this maybe I'll do a first impressions on this too let me know last but not least I picked up two products at Mac the first one is the studio fix powder in NC 25 I've already used this and I'm obsessed with this powder I freaking love studio fix powder I was using the Mac myself but I'm all about that coverage right now like I want that full beat face like I don't know what it is but I've really been into that so I love this and NC25 is my shade and then I also picked up a studio finish concealer in NC15 because I was using NC20 for my eyebrows like that's what I have on my eyebrows right now but I feel like it doesn't highlight my eyebrows so I picked up the lightest shade which is NC15 very random but it does have SPF the concealer so Pick those two up at MAC. Okay, last but not least. Like, seriously, this time, last but not least. But this was actually a gift from Sigma. And I freaking love Sigma. Like, I got to meet them. I had dinner with them. And we met up at IMAX. And I'm in love with the Sigma team. Like, I just wish I could go back and just keep spending time with them. They're amazing. Like, I love my Sigma peeps. And they sent me a gift, like, right before we met up. And it's from Henry Bendel. Henry Bendel? Henry Bendel? And isn't this just like the prettiest little duster bag? So they gifted me this clutch, which actually is a little bit dirty. I had like makeup hands when I used it, but I am obsessed with this clutch. It fits so much. I was so surprised, but it is so spacey. Like it doesn't look it. Like even on camera, it's like real stop lying like that. It's like an envelope clutch. No, I fit my camera in here. I fit my phone, my makeup. This is my new favorite clutch. And it's black and it has a gold zipper and it's just so pretty and fancy and I love it. So thank you so much Sigma. You guys are the best. I'm actually going to Sephora right now to a company of friends, but I'm probably going to buy something. But little quick tip for VIB, like if you still haven't put in your order, Get stuff that you really have been eyeing and you either like 
didn't want to splurge on it, so now you have the chance because you have 15% off. Or just like backups of things that you really love and you're running low on. So it could be a perfume, it could be a liquid lipstick. So I just, re I mean, I guess you could just buy anything, right, with 15% off. There's like really an excuse to buy everything, like new products, old products, repurchases, like perfume, skincare. Just go all out. It's 15% off and Sephora just gives us this 15% off two times a year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. You guys know I haul like mofo, you know? I take my shopping very serious. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Ooh, I need to listen to my song right now. I didn't even notice I had a little plastic here. Whoa. There we go. I just finished filming a haul. Woo, 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 woo.